This video, we're gonna look at nine heart attack risk factors and strategies to help your heart. Up next. I'm Dr. John, board certified in internal medicine as well as geriatric medicine. This channel is here to promote your health and your well being. Think your health. A heart attack, also known as myocardial infarction, occurs when blood flow to part of the heart muscle becomes blocked. This can lead to serious consequences, and it's crucial to be aware of the factors that may increase your risk. First and foremost, age and gender play a role. As we age, the risk of heart attack tends to increase. Men are generally at a higher risk than women, but postmenopausal women catch up to men in terms of risk because of hormonal changes. Another risk factor or significant factor is family history. If your parents or siblings have a history of heart disease or heart attacks, your risk is elevated. Genetic factors can influence cholesterol levels, blood pressure, and overall heart health. High blood pressure, also known as hypertension, is a major risk factor for heart attacks. It puts extra strain on the heart, leading to potential damage over time. Regular monitoring and management of blood pressure are crucial for heart health. If you're interested in a more in-depth look at blood pressure, click right here. Elevated cholesterol levels, particularly high levels of HDL cholesterol, often referred to as bad cholesterol, can contribute to the buildup of plaque in the arteries, increasing the risk of a heart attack. A balanced diet and regular exercise can help manage cholesterol levels. Smoking is a well-established risk factor for heart attacks. The chemicals in tobacco can damage blood vessels and heart tissue, making it a major contributor to cardiovascular diseases. Diabetes, especially if poorly controlled, can significantly increase the risk of heart attacks. High blood sugar levels can damage blood vessels and the heart over time. Managing diabetes through lifestyle changes and medications is crucial for heart health. Obesity and sedentary lifestyle are interconnected risk factors. Being overweight puts additional strain on the heart, while physical inactivity contributes to poor cardiovascular health. Obesity is associated with chronic low-grade inflammation throughout the body. Inflammatory processes can contribute to the development of progression of atherosclerosis, increasing the likelihood of plaque rupture and blood clot formation, which can trigger a heart attack. Adopting healthy diet and incorporating regular exercise into your routine can mitigate these risks. Chronic stress can also impact heart health. Here are different factors that can explain why. Finding effective stress management techniques such as meditation or exercise can positively influence heart health. How can stress be a risk factor for a heart attack? Stress triggers the release of hormones that increase heart rate and blood pressure, putting a strain on the cardiovascular system. Chronic stress is associated with increased inflammation, which plays a role in the development of atherosclerosis, narrowing arteries and increasing the risk of blood clots. Stress can affect blood clotting, making the blood more prone to clot formation, which may lead to blockages in coronary arteries and result in a heart attack. Stress may lead to unhealthy habits like smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, poor diet, and physical inactivity, all of which are risk factors for heart attacks. Chronic stress can disrupt healthy life habits, including exercise, sleep, and a balanced diet, contributing to the development of cardiovascular risk factors. And then of course, there are direct effects on the heart. Prolonged stress may directly impact the heart, leading to changes in heart rhythm, and an increased workload on the heart muscle, potentially contributing to heart conditions. If you want to know more about the causes of chest pain, check this video out. Understanding heart risk factors is crucial for taking proactive and actionable steps towards a healthier life. Remember prevention, prevention, prevention is key when it comes to heart health. Here are some practical measures you can incorporate into your lifestyle for a healthier heart. First and foremost, adopt a heart-healthy diet. Focus on a variety of fruits, 
vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. Limit your intake of saturated and trans fats, sodium, and refined sugars. A well-balanced diet can help control cholesterol levels and blood pressure. Incorporate regular physical activity into your routine. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week, such as brisk walking, cycling, or swimming. Exercise helps maintain a healthy weight, lowers blood pressure, and improves overall cardiovascular health. If you're a smoker, quit smoking. It's one of the most impactful actions you can take for your heart. Seek support from friends, family, or smoking cessation programs to increase your chances of quitting. Practice stress management techniques. Chronic stress can take a toll on your heart. Explore relaxation methods such as meditation, deep breathing exercises, or yoga to manage stress levels effectively. If you have hypertension, work closely with your healthcare provider to develop a management plan. Lifestyle changes, medications, or a combination of both may be recommended. If you have diabetes, manage it effectively. Monitor your blood sugar levels take prescribed medications, and make lifestyle changes to keep your diabetes under control. This will contribute significantly to reducing your heart attack risk. Maintain a healthy weight through a combination of proper nutrition and regular exercise. Losing excess weight reduces the strain on your heart and lowers the risk of heart related complications. Schedule routine visits with your healthcare provider to monitor your overall health parameters such as cholesterol levels and other relevant indicators. Early detection and intervention can be key to preventing heart issues. So know what your systolic and diastolic blood pressure numbers are, your lipid profile, your blood glucose numbers, your hemoglobin A1C, and other vital parameters. Be consistent and be patient and try to improve your heart health 1% every day and you'll be on the right path to a healthier heart. And if you're interested in other videos, click right here or click right here. Have a good day and think your health. The battery's running low, 15 minutes. Why do I have like stomach pain when I'm doing this? Ah, painful. Bye.